Hi guys, uh, this parcel's just arrived for us. Um, I know what it is. Um, and I think you will when I turn over. Hi guys, it's Big Baz here, your Big Game Bear. And on this video, we got a package. Um, so, a while back we decided we wanted to start going out for a few days um, here and there. Uh, that's myself and my partner Dan. And so we decided to get uh, a little gift for ourselves. Um, and this arrived. I've taken our names off. Um, but as you can see who it's from, um, we decided to get um, Merlin and your passes so we can go to um, Alton Towers and places like that and so we decided to get the annual passes and here it is so I'm going to do a quick unboxing if I can get open that is so as you can see I we'll have a knife They're not the easiest things to get into. I've watched a few videos on YouTube and they're not the easiest things to get into. Um, but here we go. We've got our new uh, passes. Oh, this bit's still stuck down. Uh, yes, I have got a knife to try and open the box. Ooh. And, oh, can't let you see that because it's got my information on. For that side anyway. But, so yeah, this is what we got. Um, our box contains, I don't know if you can still hear me, but our box contains two of these. Uh, we actually went for the, the gold one, the premium ones. Um, just so we knew we could get everywhere we wanted to go and have free parking and things like that because of my my disability I can't walk that far um, so we decided to get the ones so we can actually park um, for free and a bit closer uh, but yes and also what came in this pack was ta-da the two passes, the premium passes. The process of buying them was simple. Um, we went onto the Merlin, um, Merlin website and bought them via that. The only thing what we didn't expect was um, we knew the price. We knew roughly what the price was, um, but what I didn't tell you was the VAT, um, which was fifteen pound. I think I believe fifteen pound. 73 uh, on top of what we were paying for the passes uh, altogether for two of us um, for two premier ones uh, it cost us 93 pounds rather than the 70 I think it was 73 um, we originally wanted to, we originally thought we were going to pay but apart from that it was a pretty quick process um, I ordered them on the 1st of April uh, and they arrived and it's now the 4th so it took four days for them to arrive uh, obviously I can't show you what's on the on the reverse of these because it contains our personal details um, and a photo of yourself because that's, that's another thing when you actually do order them um, you do have to make sure you've got a photo a nice photo a decent photo of like a passport photo um, so you need to be able to take those and upload them onto their um, system but overall the experience of ordering them uh, it, seemed, it was a good experience we're just looking forward now to actually getting out onto the park going to Alton Towers and Madame Tussauds and places like that um, obviously I can't personally ride get on the rides um, but my partner and our friends who will be coming with us 
uh, will be going on the rides. Also, um, I've, I'll just put this down. Uh, also, I've been, I have watched a few videos, so I kind of know what's inside these little boxes. Uh, but we'll have a look anyway, um, so you know what's inside these little boxes. If I can open one. So, inside this little box, it has a must-do list, so like a list of parks, uh, not parks, a list of things you need to do um, at the parks, such as Ignite Your Senses on Wicker Man at Alton Towers Resort, um, Go on the London Eye, um, Madame Two Swords and places like that. So it kind of gives you an idea of what you need, to, what you can be looking for. Wow, I didn't know it got these. It's also a part of this is what I didn't realise we got. They're quite nice. You actually get a lanyard and obviously where the permit oops, wrong way around. And I think it's reversed for you guys. Um the Premier Merlin pass holders, which is quite I like that. And it's got on one side it's got that and on the other side it shows you the various different parks and things you can go to so that's quite good what else have we got in this little tiny tiny box oh I like that that's good sorry guys you can't see this um, we have our little badge thing what we can put on our lanyards I love my Merlin pass this is all in this little box by the way Oh, we have, you have the thing for your pass, so you can put your pass into that and clip it onto your lanyard. And also, inside here, I do believe, if I'm watching rightly, are some vouchers. So we have three £5 uh, fast track vouchers. And we also have each, we have three... Share the fun and bring a friend for £15 vouchers, which is the ones at the bottom. So that's going to be good, especially if when we take, when our friends come with us um, to places like Alton Towers and things like that. Um, we can give them something, give them one of these and uh, they get into the park for £15 rather than full price. Um, I probably won't be using any of these fast track uh, vouchers because like I say, I, I can't go on any of the rides because of um, back issues. But I know Dan, he'll be using his, so I'll be able to pass mine on to um, our friends and they'll be able to get onto the fast track. Um, be able to go fast track onto the rides. Uh, but apart from that, it's we both obviously we've both got the same both got the same little packages. And like I said, the process of getting them was quite easy. Um, you just fill everything online, give me your bank details, put the photos on there. That's the thing. Uh, we actually did our photos twice. Um, the first time we thought we'd have to have them really close and passport-y kind of photos. And then when we loaded them up onto the system, um, we didn't realise you can adjust um, and edit the photo actually on there. Uh, so we had to take them twice, and so we had to we took them a bit further away in order to be able to get our full profile on on our um, passes. But anyway, guys, that's that's this kind of quick video to show you um, our new Merlin passes. So looking forward to using them. Uh, we we do we have visited Warwick Castle, and we do visit Warwick Castle quite often. And luckily, Warwick Castle is in with these um, passes, uh, so we'll be able to go on that and. I'm so looking forward to actually going and into the Warwick Castle um, dungeons again. We did one a while back, we went there a while back and it was absolutely fantastic. Actually it did scare me, um, but I'm looking forward to going again and seeing if they've altered anything, see if there are any new actors and things like that, and experience it again. Um, but anyway guys, that's things, places like that. Madame Two Swords also. Madame Two Swords, I can't wait to go and visit. Um, we've got one nearest to us which is Blackpool. Um, so we'll go and pop there some point and I'll be taking you guys with us But anyway guys, that's all for this video and if you do like this video give it a thumbs up If you don't give it a thumbs down leave a comment below 
And um, also, guys, don't forget, if you do like what you're watching, you want to see videos coming out, and you want to see what we're doing, uh, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you know when a new video is coming out. But anyway, guys, like I always say, I love you always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.